Puzzle people. Today, um, I'm going to show you a new product we have, and these are stickers that we have available to cover this chin area or the nose area in the front. If your horse gets rubs on their chin, we have some that get rubs on their nose as well. And what this sticker does is it covers the holes in the front or the back um, on both sides because they come in pairs and it provides a nice smooth surface so that your horse isn't getting rubs um, or little like blisters or calluses um, that some horses depending on their nose size or face shape might be prone to get. So these stickers come in pairs which is awesome um, because there's a front and a back and they also come in three different colors so you can mix and match or try to color match to the grazing muzzle that you have. Um, I'm gonna color match today. Um, and so I'm gonna show you how to put these on. Um, you wanna make sure they're oriented so the Gigi is facing upright. And we're gonna start on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and peel this backing off. And the easiest thing to do is line up this top part centered about halfway between this little um, muzzle strap slot and this hole right here. I'm going to try to get it pretty straight and pretty even. And then I'm just going to kind of press it down here and work my way from the top, pressing it down, making sure I get a good seal there and just press it all the way down. And I did not get that very straight. So good news is you can try again. Um, I'm gonna hold it where you can't see it very well and try to get this a little bit straighter. So again, I'm about halfway between that muzzle strap and the slot. And here we go. Okay, um, I actually moved it down a little bit further because that seemed to line my holes up a little better. This is a muzzle that has been previously used. Um, so I'm having to work around a few little bumps and scrapes. You wanna make sure that you have cleaned it first. I recommend um, you can run it through the dishwasher or just soak it in water and give it a good scrub with some dish soap. You wanna make sure it's really clean, very dry. And now that I have this on centered, I can start to kind of press everything down and it doesn't have to be perfect. And then these little tabs just wrap around and you wanna get those really good because we don't want this to peel up. And so even if you have a few little bubbles, that's not a big deal. You just wanna press down around the edges and put those little tabs through the holes. And then we're gonna press down on these little tabs and then we're gonna put our second sticker on and it's gonna go basically in the exact same spot just um, on the back. So this one should be a lot easier. Um, and we like to do the front first or the inside first and then the outside so that the outside can kind of protect these tabs from wanting to peel up because the inside is what's gonna protect your horse. So we want that sticker to be a little bit more protected. So again, I'm gonna try and line this up nice and straight. I'm gonna make sure it's above those top holes, somewhat centered and you can use this line to kind of help you center everything. I'm gonna turn it towards me just a little bit. There we go. I think I did a pretty good job. And then you're just gonna smooth it down. And again, you wanna try and get any bubbles out that you have. And then once I have this all smoothed down here, just wrap those tabs around just like that and then I'm going to turn it back to the inside and just double check that those tabs are pressed down nice and firm so they don't peel up um, and there you have it and now we have our little chin holes covered and it's a really nice slick surface so that hopefully this will help prevent any of those chin rubs that some horses who have a little bit bigger um, 
noses or bigger uh, pointier chins can help prevent them from getting this rub. So yeah, we hope you love this new product. I know I do.